Yo, Mo, want to say what's up for the vlog? Because the car had been sitting so long and had such few miles on it, everything on it was original. Now I'm gonna get back to that and just keep that in mind. Everything on the car was original. Now what the car, what the article talks about is tire durability and um, tire composure over time. So as you know, tires will obviously degrade as you drive and tread on them will go away as you drive because it's just being eaten away by the asphalt as you drive. And um, that's just regular wear and tear that most people experience every day while driving their cars. Now, since this car only had 1,700 miles on it, that type of wear and tear was not visible on the, on the tires, nor on the car. And it wasn't, you know, taken into mind that something may be wrong with the tires. Now, the article goes on to say, um, it actually, like, begins by talking about the guy who, writing the art who wrote the article talks about an experience he had during a race event outside of Las Vegas after SEMA and he kept losing traction on the track because he had a car a C5 Corvette which he had garage for a long time and it had old tires on it and basically what happens to a tire over time is it begins to basically act kind of like a Hot Wheels wheel if you think about rubber as rubber gets older and older its composure gets worse and worse and it actually hardens and it becomes somewhat plasticky so its ability to stick the car to the ground is just going to be drastically reduced as time goes on. Now, it talks about, I forget, the exact time or like maximum time you should have tires um, if you don't meet the mileage or you don't wear down the tread. And it says it's about three to four years um, if they're in like optimal conditions. And anything past that, you really should switch the tires. So... What he talks about is the fact that this Porsche Carrera GT only had 1,700 miles on it. Everyone's been trying to race today. I have no idea why. Um, I'm on my way to Monterey, so this is a pretty long drive. And uh, anyways, off from that tangent. And if the car had been garaged for most of its lifetime, it only had 1,700 miles on it. And it had the original tires on it. So 
this accident happened, I'm trying to recall, I think back in 2012, and the Carrera GT, um, I believe was about seven years old. I could be wrong, I'm honestly forgetting the numbers right now off the top of my head, but it was a pretty old car at that time, and because of that and because of how old the tires were, they actually believe now that the tires could have been a reason for the accident, and the accident only occurred at 90 miles per hour, which in a sports car really isn't that fast, and especially for an experienced driver, controlling a car like that, unless you do something really stupid like downshift and just like floor it, or you know, you're coming around the corner and do something like that with a rear wheel drive car, I don't think someone like Roger Rodas would have just lost control. And at least from what it sounds like and from this article and the information that's now come up, I believe that that may have been a pretty big factor into what caused the accident. And I just kind of want to hear your guys' opinion. I want to know if you guys think that that may have been what caused the accident and it factored into it or, you know, it was just completely his fault and the driver's fault and he didn't know what he was doing since he was new to driving the car. Or if you think that it may have been a combination of both. It may have been the fact that the tire's grip just wasn't as good as it was brand new and the, he didn't know what he was doing with the car. The car was brand new. Um, he had no idea how much the power the car put down uh, when pressing the gas and that's what may have caused the accident. Um, so yeah, just give me you guys feedback. I just wanted to hear from you and just wanted to mention that for people who uh, you know didn't know or didn't see that article. And I think it's a pretty good article and I think it's some pretty good information because a lot of people who are in the used car market for exotics and whatnot don't even take that into mind. And something that's really important to look at is, you know, tire rot on cars. And as I had mentioned in my previous video, um, tires are expensive. A lot of people overlook that when buying a new car, especially exotics or sports cars. Um, these cars that, you know, have 500 plus horsepower have tires that are pretty wide and pretty expensive. And Honestly, if you're getting a good deal on a car, you could end up spending an extra couple thousand dollars just on a tire replacement. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. I wanted to see what you guys think and uh, let me know. If it's your first time dropping by the channel and you enjoyed the video, do make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. The each one. The